You know what I was uh, thinking about the other day? Because um, one of our clients with the Urus, the black Urus, on Saturday, we uh, the guy got into accident. It was the middle of the night. He didn't know what to do. And a tow truck came. Tow truck came said, hey, man, you need help. I have the perfect place to store it right now. No hassle. We'll take it there right now. You don't have to do anything. Don't worry. Don't worry. My client moved to um, L.A. like two years ago, so there's no English. And he didn't know what to do. He was freaking out. You know, he just got a Lamborghini Urus three days ago and somebody hit him. So the tow truck takes the car. The customer doesn't even know where the car is. Hits me up for help. And essentially, we have to find the car. The car is at a tow, tow yard somewhere in Burbank over here. And um, they start trying to figure out how to release it. It's been there for one day. Um, they start talking about fees of like $1,700 to take it. We'll bring it to you and guys, they whatever. They really got pissed off when we called them and told them we want the weird deal. Yeah. So they like, really got pissed off and charging like three-day storage for one day. Yeah, because like it's super annoying because customers and it's drunk. don't know what they're doing. Unfortunately, when they get into accident, they're panicking. Sorry, I'm closing the gate with my phone. And um, and essentially, they panic. So they let people take their half a million car somewhere that they don't know. And lo and behold, the customer fought with them because they were giving him a hard time. Um, the storage yard had, they also owned the body shop. So as you can see where that's going, they wanted that job. And they thought they got a Lamborghini. They were excited. And lo and behold, it was you know, the customer wanted to come here and it was a huge problem getting, getting the car. And unfortunately, a lot of body shops work this way. They pay tow trucks to bring them accident cars. And then they, you know, they Mickey Mouse the car so they could pay the tow truck guy commission. It's highly illegal, but this is what it is. And but I think everyone does that. Even like Everybody, do honestly, a lot of people do that. I know we don't. We've never done that. And something like I really, really despise because... When you're paying anybody on a customer's job, it's morally wrong. And on top of it, you know, you're going to probably Mickey Mouse the car because you can't afford to pay somebody and fix the car. So, yeah, that was an unfortunate situation. Um, but me, Moses, and Sarkis were outside fighting with the tow companies, all kinds of stuff on a Saturday. Uh, but thankfully, we got the car here and it's safe now. So, uh, yeah, that was just this last weekend. So, yeah, that, that was crazy. You know what the difference is? I mean, there's 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 enough work for everybody. So I feel like, you know, class has to come in the picture when you lose. You're not losing. It's just customer decides to bring the car at, you know, I mean, he, he's going to bring the car to any shop that he wants. So the car got pulled out. Just have some class. Move on. It's not a big deal. There's more jobs. That's there's a lot the of jobs. body shop war, man. But you know, know, you guys don't. It's guys happened don't to us. The worst part. The charges extra hundred. Oh, $25. yeah, and, and as the tow... Because of... Oh, yeah, he put three-day storage on the paperwork, and they only had the car for a day. So, I mean, that's straight fraud right there. And, you know, I can name names and all that stuff, um, but I'm not going to do that here, and we're never the ones to do that because we just don't like naming, you know, companies like that, except for Mansory. Um, Mansory is a shitty company. So, oh, shit. Yeah, and we're sitting in front of a Mansory Bentley that we built, like, a year ago. Mm -hmm. We... Actually, it took one year to get that hood. Yeah. It was, it was actually yep. over a year ago. Actually, maybe over, over a year, year to get that hood. And we finally got it. And we put it on. And yeah, that's what it is. It looks great, honestly. The car, this is the baddest Bentley 2020 plus model I've seen still till this day. It's yep. a convertible red interior, carbon fiber everywhere. And it looks amazing on the Bentley. It's hard to pull off. So, and but yeah. The, the messed up part they did, the hood is carbon fiber. The um, the rounding emblem is forced, how possible. I guess they just was the hood purposely line. delayed for one year because it was coming to us. Because it was no, backwater. no, we it was know. just. Uh, it was, we don't know, but that's just the way Mansory operates. Nobody knows. You know, you know, you don't know that's when you're gonna get your product. That's why when they were um, installing it, I was telling them be careful because we there's no yeah. way we can. But get yeah, I don't want to talk too much about that. But back to the body shop business and uh, the things we have to deal with that make it tough for us. Uh, and we wanna we're doing this podcast. And we have our YouTube channel and all that because of the way we operate, really. You know, all these auto shops and stuff, they have to get business from somewhere. And unfortunately, they pull business from the wrong areas, whether it's a tow truck company, whether it's a dealership or whether it's through a lawyer, because also personal injury lawyers send body shops jobs. And 
essentially everybody gets a cut everybody gets a commission and it's wrong you know and we're not the ones that do that we don't really work with lawyers uh we don't definitely don't pay off dealerships to give us jobs and we definitely do not do any of the tow truck games so that's what we are we're just straight blessed to have our loyal customers and new customers and that's how we like to keep this game you know and that's what it is you know yeah, we, we keep I mean, it generic i like to say that we're like the most generic auto shop out, out there and that's why we have youtube and podcasts we pull customers in a different way um but we don't have to pay any bit of commission so we don't shortchange the car so that's really the end game there but yeah, I just wanted to re talk about that because we had an interesting Saturday. But yeah, yeah, that was a crazy Saturday. We've been through the same thing too. We've we've had we've had problems like that. It's not even a problem. It's just customers free to go anywhere he or she wants, take their vehicle. It's happened to us. Um, you know, you can't you can't keep every single job in the world. Yeah. So it's like it, it's happened to us, and all we do is you know tow trucks here. Okay, pulling the car out. Sure, there you go. Class. It's all about class. There's again, there's a lot of jobs to go around. It's not the fine. It's not the last car. And yeah, I, it was really crazy. Sorry. Did you guys notice like insurance companies? They lie to the customers. They say if you don't, if you take the car to the different shop, we're not gonna pay or we're yeah. Gonna insurance pay. company love to steer customers. Well, uh, that's against the law know, too. They can get if a fine for that. It's not against the law if they're like telling you you have to. Like there's no other way because California law, you could take your car anywhere to repair it, but. Yeah. They could steer you a little bit. What's their benefit? Though? I don't. I don't understand. Well, I think because their they pay less than if you. So yeah. for example, the RP shop. This is how it works. So for example, you charge them sixty bucks an hour. They charge you forty bucks. So you're gonna say there's a minor crack. I'm gonna change it. The RP say you know what? It's okay. Essentially, to save some essentially, money for the yeah. Too. If they choose the body shop it goes to, they're gonna save some money. Is mm -hmm. really what it is. And shops like us, we try to really maximize the repair. And, and go after it all, you know. So I know, like Caliber, um, few of the RPs, I know guys. They work there. They're like, bro, we're trying to change the part. Like, good, fix it. Yeah, they push they're the like, fix instead of repair, no. uh, replace. It's like no, and the guy got ding, got fired because he fought with one of the uh, insurance management. He's like, this part is broken. How you want me to fix? Like, you it's have not to. only that. So they tell the customer like. Uh, if you take it to our preferred shop, there's lifetime warranty. There is no such a thing like yeah. I'm just saying. Because they, they know the that. car, but you're going to get rid no of it. A, <laughs> you're not going to have it for a lifetime. Yeah, there's no because such thing. Because if you sell the car to another person, that's Yeah, so that guy's going to get lifetime? Like, no. it doesn't really and I matter. Mean, I don't care what car it is. If you leave the car under the sun for, let's say, 10 years, the paint's going to fade. No matter what. Yeah. So how are you going to give a lifetime warranty? Well, exactly. Not even 10 years. So get the car, the put trees. it in the sun. You're right. Maybe five years. Whatever yeah. it is. You're right. You know those trees. Yeah. Or the trees. Even, even bird yeah, yeah, yeah. shit is going to yeah. stay in your car. Is That's a lifetime it. warranty? It's, no. all, it's all word games that, like like Vic said, whenever you get into an accident, you're sh you're, sh you're shaking. Like You don't know what to do. So you'll believe That's anything, true. especially you're, you're going to believe the insurance and company. This is what anybody. You know? This is what happened. So one of the guys went to like, um, different, like, different body shops. He was at the RP body shop. They told me you have a lifetime warranty. So this guy comes back in three years with a different owner. They're like, it's, it's a yeah, lifetime, talking to the mic, man. <clears throat> lifetime warranty with you, not with if you sell the car. So that's the tricky part. A lot of people, they don't get that. Yeah, that's so true. If you sell your car, it means the warranty is gone. Most word, people average word sell the car every or like you, five years. Or if you change yeah. your insurance company, exactly. still, it's gone. So like, kind of tricking you so you can take the car. But... You, People there, like you guys out there, whenever they told you you have to take the shop or we're not going to pay, there's no such a thing like that. The insurance company will get a fine for that. If you complain, <coughs> they will get a fine for that. They cannot just steer you and tell you you have to take this place or this shop. Yeah, yeah. There's no such a thing. Whatever yeah. you feel comfortable, you can take that shop. Yeah, man. So there is but no... But yeah, that was our problem of the week. I think we should do like a one problem of the week on the podcast. I think that'll be kind of cool. Um Right now, we're still working hard in the back, doing wheels on a Cullinan, finishing up a wide body Urus, and then the full paint job white Cullinan with the Tiffany green interior is getting done. That car is leaving to Texas tomorrow, and we need to film that for our YouTube guys. Um, and that car is very, very special, especially to us because we were able to do an inside out build um, using paint, leather, wheels, suspension, like... Just a whole nine yards on a $500,000 Rolls-Royce black badge Cullinan. And that is the type of jobs we really appreciate, I think, all of us. Because we saw that car come. It was gray with black and red interior. Yeah. And it was stock. From and Texas. Never met me. the when client. When I got the call, no one didn't believe me. I'm going to get the car. And I did. 
They were making fun of me. He's like, no, no, we weren't way. making fun of you. We we're yeah, saying like, we said we possible. hope we get it. You yeah, know? you answered the and phone the, call. And the, the customer knew Texas. what he wanted. The customer actually originally wanted to paint the outside also Tiffany green. Yeah. But as time grew on, they wanted I to do satin white. I think white is more instead. nicer than the Tiffany green. It's beautiful, outside. man. And we added like all these LED lights to the bar, uh, the grill. And then we changed the spirit to a light up spirit. So really, really cool. Honestly, um, you guys listening today, you know, when it dropped, the next YouTube video is going to have that car. And we're truly excited to show you guys that because it's going to be that's one of our top builds, I think. Um, and it's going to be ri ridiculous. I ridiculous. think it is. This Just is a sheer topic. amount that's of like, fuck you on that car is what is crazy yeah. to me because it's a black badge, Cullinan, burnout gray with black and red interior. Every guy wants that configuration and they can't get it. This customer had it, but wanted to literally change it um, with paint and new leather. So that's such a boss move and he's from texas we've never seen him we've only talked to him on the phone and this whole thing happened like that so just a such a big boss move and truly appreciate that and um it's really crazy so i think that's probably i would probably rank that as one of the probably best builds we've done it has to be in the category it's got to be one of the biggest it has to be in the done. top it's, it's the top heaviest build we've done that's for sure yeah, yeah. i mean we've done like wide bodies we've done custom g-wagon cutting off stuff we've done all of that those yeah, are crazy, crazy. This, this but this is just really cool because it's already a half a million dollar car yeah and we're doing yeah. that you know you guys have to see the interior oh my goodness it's wild it's, it's a different world it's it's i have never seen anything like that so you guys yeah. are gonna love it. So yeah, it's crazy. yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be nuts. So super excited and about that. Body so. shop paint the car. So with my management, your body I, shop is staying late today because they fucked up. So your okay. management it sucks, bro. You guys, you have to. It's, it's a job. Everything See, happens. See, Sarkis, you started this whole thing. No, you should have just said we did it all together, which we all did it together. Everybody put their it's <clears> pieces <throat> together, and we built an amazing. I already car. said this on one of the episodes. Everybody is important here in their own yeah, way. Yeah, everybody you know? does their part. I mean, obviously, I'm more important than most, but. Mostly everybody's important here for the job. And bro, you're okay. like on the least important, I would no, say. But you're, bro, you're we, we, I think the body shop <laughs> is like 70% of the car. 70%. Let's just be honest. 70% of the car, the body shop did it. Okay, but you, the body shop, would have no customers if it wasn't for me or Moses or Mono. No. no. It's the number. Phone, one, it's the, no, no, it's no. The, it's, the, okay. it's the 323 number. 323-876-1023. And did you build That's that number? number? No, your dad did. Not you, no, not you. No, no, yes. no. Yes. So also in the tell me it's not true. We're gonna be uh, finishing no, up. It's, it's yeah. not true because it is. Man. God help okay. me. Okay. Okay. Next subject. We're See, gonna be finishing up. Right. So whenever Brown's I'm right, they change the subject. No. Look. Who opened the body shop first? We all worked on this. It's a team here. That's the thing. But seventy percent. There's no I in team. Okay. Hold on. Did you guys even know? Okay. Did you guys? How many times did you guys? Besides him, he he walked in many times. How many times did you guys walked into spray booth? How many times did you guys walked in, walked into like see you prepping? Are you done? You did it. Arctic white. It's beautiful. It's correcto correcto mundo today. So how many times did you right, guys walk in? It. Somebody should check it. It's probably purple now instead of white. No. If yeah. If, so if, that if color anyway we're talking about. Um, one piece of it. Was left behind and painted the wrong color. I think that I, okay, so this is so the, that's what he was staying so behind the painting. This, right is, now. this is what happened. Closer well, we to the mic. Okay, bro, so please. we had a two column in. One of them it was, it was kind of they mixed it. They both spoiler they painted the same color, so kind of they mixed it. So just that's what happened. That's what happens when you have many colonins that you're painting at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that's true. Which is crazy. That's a good so, problem yeah. to have. You know, we have. You know, you, do you guys know how many colonins we have in the shop? And there's then, there's three at the other shop. Yes. FYI. Do you know what? Four or five columns. Yeah, I know. And those are all nearly half a million dollars. I no. think this year, the Eurus bills are leading so far. What are we, third third month in the year? Well, uh, you guys don't know what's going to happen next. I think the Eurus By the is, end of this month, the new uh, 1016 wide body for the Cullinan is coming. Oh. What about the Ferrari? I think so, the and Ferrari we're getting too. the SF90 kit, but the yeah. Cullinan wide body is going to be new on the market. And once we build one... Oh, man, I think that's what's going to really fly. Because whoever has a colon in, let's just face it, they have some money. I you know, think so spend. far, it's Schliz's car. It's and if beautiful. they don't have a colon, they're going to buy the colon to make it yeah. white body. So I just feel that yours is always going to be in the lead. I just no, have a I feeling. Because there's, there's so many. So so far, the best like body. Aus, it's like the best daily exotic 
yeah. car is it yours? Look at how many there is inside the shop well, right speaking now. Speaking of wide body yours, we're gonna do because one the for is, uh, Stefan Diggs. Bro, the colonies. I know you're a fan. Two times are more than uh, yours. There's five yours inside the shop right now. That's yeah. not a joke. There's five. And yeah, there's five colonies. And actually, they're all five are wide body. I think. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, are all five wide body? Okay, so no. Yeah, there's f- yeah, there's five. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. five. Yeah, except just, okay, I look, think one but you have to consider this way. Yours is two hundred fifty thousand. This freaking car is like five hundred thousand. Of course, people they buy more yours than a Cullinan. Well, yeah, true. Not everybody has that much money to spend. I I see <laughs> many Cullinans out there, so you yeah, know. but still limited. Man. I think they try to keep it the no, but limited. Cullinan's been out like two years longer than yours, so there's a lot of Cullinans out there. You as can't well. compare them; they're both different cars. I think. Yeah, I mean they are. They are. And Cullinan's Rolls like Rolls more you like wanna, rich. Usually, Rolls Royce you don't want to touch it too much. It's like frowned upon. Yeah, even I, though I, I think don't that's think bullshit. So. Yeah, we do the most to one of them. The yours is like very mod friendly, you know. So. We'll do much more. I think the best Colin we had it was the black one we did. The white body kit. That was the craziest uh, one. Uh, Shalizis? Yeah. yeah. The most. black one. That's yeah. the that's craziest nice one. Yeah. one. Yeah. So yeah. far, I think that's the craziest one. That one does one. stand out. We did something different to that. I don't know. It looks different than all the other ones. Yeah, because we body. changed the pa- we changed the complete body no, kit. No, like the light. We well, add a few the stuff. white body was cool, but we changed the whole the back light. of the kit. Yeah. And then we added LEDs on and the front. And the LEDs. Plus, we where? changed the back one, too. Like, spoiler, stuff like that. Yeah. It was a different build. I remember SEMA... I can't remember what year, 2015 maybe, whatever. We did five or six wide bodies in like a month just to yeah. take all of them to SEMA. And that was the times we were sleeping at the shop on the, the couch. Kind of GT, cars. right? Sleeping was the there. GT? It was nuts. Remember? I remember how cold that office was. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, remember that? That was, uh, that was, those were the yeah. days. We were really young back in the days, and we were like, <laughs> it, was, it was really easy. Dying, Honestly, yeah. it was easy. We're because still young, bro. We're, no, no. We're not old. I mean, you were talking like what? We're going back seven, eight, nine years. I don't know how long. Eight years. Seven 2015. Years. It, was, yeah, it was. It was a big difference. About seven years. Yeah. That's a lot. And well, you know, we yeah. we took it very. It was. Man, it was. It was actually years. easy because we loved. It was. It was excitement. Wow. So, you know, yeah, it's man. exciting now too. But you know, of course, when you start to barely start to do it, it's it's fun. You know, and it's it it just feels different because you started. Now you look around and there's like, I don't know, fifty. Yeah, but you Colin have to. But you have to always stay hungry and always think that the same way. I still think that every day yeah. I come here, I still think we're doing crazy things and we're doing new things and we're growing and whatever. And like it really excites me all the time. Obviously, the problems kill me, but you overcome that. There are cars and you're a car shop. Yeah, you're gonna have little problems. Um, it's about fixing those problems and making sure. But we've, man, we've figured out some crazy problems in these days. It's like. The craziest problems, you know, even problems dealers can figure out we've done. And like, it's just putting your heads to, you know, um, like crazy. stuff. I think the first uh, we had an older my and build. the customer wanted to you guys remember the G- upgrade build? to the that my we had to upgrade. We had to oh. we had to do like a log me in Zoom that? call um, to program the headlights to make it work. That was cool. Um, there were custom headlights and there was it was a lot of work to do that, you know, and. I mean, that's stuff that, like, no shop is going to take the time to do because it's too small of a problem, you know? But, like, we had to stay until, like, 10 p.m. So they're awake at the other exactly. country. Exactly, that's and, what I have to say. Like, yeah. you know, do all Our time different was different, so. You know, like, you know, wild shit, you know? When we were awake, they were sleeping, so we had to. Oh, you guys, you guys, uh, there's there's something really cool that's coming. And you guys are probably going to laugh about this because you guys probably remember how many we've done. So the same owner that had a gold chrome Bentley. Uh, oh, the jet ski! With the, oh, yeah. So he got another jet ski, and he wants to be the first one to have pink chrome. So there's a jet ski coming next week, and we're gonna do the same thing. And we're gonna, yeah, it's gonna be another jet ski build. So really good client of ours, and he's sending another jet ski here. So yeah, we're gonna do. We'll pink talk about that after we're off the chrome. Podcast, it's gonna, gonna be crazy. It. Think about pink chrome and yeah. black. I thought I told you don't get any more jet skis throughout. Yeah, because yeah. Sarkis thinks he's underwater the whole oh, time. Yeah. It's, hey, it's a mo- it's, the guy wants to be the first pink one in the world. Gonna be pretty cool. He wants to be the lie. first one in the world to have it. So, uh, he, a, why there's no pink chrome? He bought a crazy jet ski. I, you don't see a jet ski wrapped in pink chrome. It's very, very rare. I mean, I don't think. I so. mean, who wraps jet skis, man? I think it will be in Dubai. R D B L A. I think in Dubai will be a. Oh, pink and jet by ski. the way, the the gold the mm-hmm. gold jet ski that's wrapped. He he texted me. I have I have messages. It's mm-hmm. still still perfect, you guys. The wrap has not peeled off. He's using it. He loves it. And he's t- uh, he said he sent me a picture yesterday, and he's like, "Look at it! Look at the condition of it. It's actually perfect still." I yeah. went to Disneyland yesterday, and oh. four people recognized me. How was it? 
Seriously, it was, yeah. it was a shitload of people, but it was good. How are the like the the wait times? Like seriously, like an hour per ride or uh, maybe they have like that lightning lane shit. You pay that extra you for do. that or no? No, it's free, but you can only do it one at a time, and it's like one per like hour or something. That's cool. Um, that you could pay for the Star Wars one. It's like twenty bucks, and then um, yeah, I mean, it's lo- it's just some long waits, you know. But um, I don't do all of them. I don't. I, I'm local to it, so I could go once a month and whatever just i go there for that but also the food like every yeah. single different restaurant in there has different specialties and really crazy shit i had a monte cristo sandwich which is really cool do you know what a monte cristo no, sandwich what's in is? It? it's like bread it's like french toast bread Ooh. and then inside of it is like ham and cheese and wow stuff Damn. like that that sounds good um so one place in Disneyland is like famous for that um <laughs> Other one, they have like those clam chowder bowls. They're wow. bomb. Um, shit like that, you know? So it's really cool. Um, that's why I go for the food and also some of the oh, rides. Just has, getting out of LA a little bit, you know? Has anyone stayed in the uh, Disney Resort? I've, I I just want to. They say, <laughs> no, they say it's crazy. It's really nice. I, I just, it's just a, I just want to know. Oh, has anyone experienced it? Because it's really, really. No, no. no We're bro. local. Like, why would Do you we sleepwalk or no? Why would we stay there? It's just a question because the, the world on. says it's a, it's probably the nicest resort you can stay in. That's why I'm just asking. It's just a question. A f- customer just texted me, "Hey, brother, my wife's jacket is in the back seat. Can you please make sure it's safe? She is asking me for for it. Please make sure it's safe. Can you check now? I wonder what kind of jacket it is. <laughs> Which car is that? <laughs> this one. Oh, the crazy Bentley. Yeah, I need one. I can use a jacket. I'm you gonna tell him I'll give you a jacket probably if I take your keychain. Nice. That Bentley's sick, man. Yeah, I have to go check. His I don't thing. like Bentleys, but that's one of the Bentleys I'll probably. This, one, this, right is, this is one of my favorite. Yeah. How this much is, is how much is this? I one? think it's like close to like three hundred thousand. It's a, a twelve. Well, it is the uh, it is a twelve, yeah. So yeah. it's probably around there. <clears throat> but yeah, just talk about your accident, Moses, from the shop. Moses' car accident. Bye bye. Moses' car accident, like, I don't know, five, six years ago, at least more, seven, eight which years one, ago. Which one? Which car? The Audi? It's like five, I think five, six years. Yeah, six years. The Audi? That was bad. Yeah. It was a bad one. It was actually my fault. I was, uh, I was driving the fast lane. You know, the right lane's always, you know, after work, trying to get home. Um, and yeah, it was, it was actually, I was lucky. It was like an, about like a minute away from work. So it was a bad one. Very bad accident. Um, it wasn't and then, that bad. It was pretty bad. It got car got totaled, but I think it was bad. But you yeah. were inside like a Rite Aid or something. Yeah, it was actually I was right by Chick Fil A. I was it was it was right. Yeah. I was right by. Oh, thank you. It, it is like there is screws like that. What are yeah. you doing with screws? I, the neighbor asked. I'm trying to help. That's all. It's for bro. It's that's for you. Not for, first, it's his license plate, and then now a neighbor yeah, asked for it. What? Those yeah. are not even license plates. Those are. For but you. yeah, you were driving your Audi and you crashed into yeah, and a, a Rite Aid. You were sober, something. right? Yeah, it was drunk. Yeah. It was yeah. right after yeah. work. Yeah. No, he was. No, sober. it was right after work, and then Vic was around the corner. He turned around. Uh, we called the we called the tow truck. What happened in the accident? You said you crashed. Vic only came because he saw business. I tried to jack yeah. his job. <laughs> <laughs> the he was car got give the tow truck. I commissioned to bring the car. Yeah, nothing happened. Everybody was okay. But yeah, what, how did you crash? Well, so I was going straight, uh, about forty-five to fifty miles per hour. I was going a little fast, and then the car was making a left turn, and there was traffic on the other lanes too. So you know, the person who was making a left turn thought there was no cars coming, and yeah, it was me. So you know, oh, he made a left, and made yeah, a left, made a yeah. left, and then I was going straight. I couldn't stop, and yeah. And there were some people on the uh, sidewalk, actually, so thank God. Did the airbags pop, by the way? No. So I think Audi sold me a, 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 a salvage car. <laughs> there was, they probably had no airbags in it. How no, does the it airbag did. not? It was a top-of-the-line car. How man. does the airbag? Yeah, it, it had a, a, what it was the speaker uh, system? It was a prestige edition. Car accidents suck. Let's talk about each other's car accidents. My worst Who's, one, oh. I've had like two or three in my lifetime. My worst one is I had a Porsche 996 Turbo. And it was modified. This is probably the reason why I don't like Porsche, by the way. Um, and basically, it had rained, but it had stopped, and the floors were a little bit wet. And um, I kind of <laughs> took off from a red light. And going about like 60, the car started to understeer. It lost all four wheels because I guess the floor was a little slippery. And I completely understeered into like a corner like that and kind of like hit this like uh liquor store building and it took out the whole car i mean 
it was fucked. The wheel flew off. Um, oh, airbags Jesus. blew up. And I remember I was holding the steering wheel stiff. And that helped me, like, not go forward and whatever. Because yeah. uh, I didn't have a seatbelt on at the time, actually. But um, airbag blew on the side. And the glass broke. So the airbag pushed the glass into my arm. Ooh. My entire, like, bicep area. And um, that was my only injury. But I had to go to the hospital. And they were scraping, like you know glass out of my arm and um that was that was bad that was bad but uh yeah i was just being stupid i was probably like 20 at the at that time or something 20 years old and yeah that was my worst one what about the second one second one was the remember the range rover when i was driving on sunset it was one by the shop and yeah i was all doing the right lane and that was bad. you know i was going too fast i was going like 35 but there was some traffic and somebody was making also a left but no light there's no light there or anything so he had a little break in traffic and he was making a left through that traffic and i was coming in the right lane so he couldn't see me i couldn't see him he was at fault because i was going straight um mm -hmm. and i ended up kind of hitting the curb and stuff it wasn't the worst accident but yeah Nothing happened to me there, but yeah, that, that was the Sunset Boulevard is a little crazy. You and me kind of got it the same way, Moses. People drive fast. Mine yeah, was the worst fast. one. I was 18 years old. Yeah, 17, 18. I had IQ a Legend and GS Type 2 engine. Oh, those were nice. So, and it was a stick shift too. That was my first car. So the car was dropped. And at that time, I think there was, there was the movie. Um, Fast and the Furious. Yeah. So for me, it was like interesting. Will I like pass the like bottom of the truck? But, so I went to. Oh like, my god. So no, I went to close, that. like not. It was like. <laughs> what a dumb. Are you kidding? Why me? would no. you do? So How I was come we don't to know this? Sure or not. So I went because the car was dropped too. I had a 19 inch <laughs> oh wheels. Oh my god. I had a 19 inch Maya Shut wheels. The hell up. I don't. I don't think. I don't think that that's yeah. true. I, I, I think you would go under a truck. No, I didn't go. I went. I went close to see the height if it's possible or not. Okay. Oh, okay. What? So you didn't attempt to do it. No, I, just, okay, I was trying okay. to see the like right, height if it's, okay. uh, if it's like right or not. And at that time, so there's a curve came. I didn't pay attention. So I went inside of that thing, the tire. Oh, I got big so rig? lucky, yeah. I got so lucky. I took the brake, the back car hit in the other tire, so threw the car away. And it was it was like around like eight o'clock. That's crazy. I was trying to see if it's possible, if it's sure or not in the movies. So that was the dumbest thing I done. So 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 you wow. tried to do what? Okay. No, I, I was trying to see. And that's why the they get paid the big sure bucks. Not. Like oh. I was trying, I wasn't trying to pass it. I was trying to see. Got it. Got it. If it's, okay. if it's possible. Yes, if, if it's, it's possible. possible. If it but makes sense. It is possible. Honda Civic. Two door coupe, you can slide. We test that; it's possible. What do you mean we test what, that? What do you mean? We test How did you that? test that? You found Honda the you found the guy no. with the semi truck no, and tested because, it. Because there was a there was a car. It's probably the stupidest thing you could do. With there the was car. a car. Test um, that. And it was the guy was like a good racer, and he was he was racing the car with Lamborghinis, Ferraris. He was cra that was crazy. He was <laughs> hey, so, you're dead. <laughs> why? What happened? Okay. Okay. The guy was a good eraser. He was. No, he was, a no, good it was a really, really, really good driver. <laughs> to be honest, I never seen a driver like that. So so far in my life, was his bumper crooky? <laughs> I don't know. So that was a, the guy was really crazy. So we tell like one time like, let's because my friend he had a truck. So like, okay, let's just go like twenty miles an hour, not too fast, like 20, 15 miles. Let's see if we will no. go, and he did. On the Civic, the two door <laughs> slammed all the way. It's going on the bottom of the truck. But it wasn't like life is not a movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fast and Furious is a movie, bro. It was, Sometimes we, were we young, feel like we have magical powers. I don't know. We, we were no, young. Bro, we're trying we to see. Speaking of Fast and Furious, did you see the last one? Oh, yeah, I didn't like. I, didn't I like mean, it. look, it's very entertaining. I like the first one. Gradually, like every movie gets more and more fake. Oh uh, yeah, this is like yeah. too much. They do fake. like the crazy. The last one, they go into space with a car. <laughs> yeah, this is too much fake <laughs> with the ludicrous. Yeah. I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah. And me, my friend. It's like a movie freak. He's like, let's go see it in 4D. And 4D is that theater here at the Chinese theater where you sit and the sh the chair like moves and the chair vibrates. Oh, which so, was it? Yeah, it's called 4D theater, whatever. And you sit and it like kind of like shakes on, you know, whatever. Every time there's a gunshot, it like hits you kind of. Oh, that's cool. You know? I don't scare you. And that you. movie was like, my back broke from that movie, I think. And every time they would hit like nitrous, it's like punches you in the back. That's cool. All I, kinds of shit. To be honest, funny as shit. I like the old one. It's like more realistic. 
the first then the one new one's always cool. New ones are just too. I the first one it's not a fake with like the you know cgis yeah. and you know rock and whatever they fly and they hit cars and they don't die and nothing happens to them um all kinds of, they what about the other one and they go to hawaii or what and and they li- uh the helicopter is trying to lift the car and they pull the helicopter down with like trucks oh yeah i know i know, I know which one they're trying to they're stealing money from the they're going to steal the money from the house and whenever they try to steal the money the cops they go after them and it's like a no, special it's gun it's the, you shoot and it stops the car yeah yeah but it's not what i'm talking about but yeah i get it so it's like it's just gone and fake and i honestly lost funny. i honestly lost interest in fast and Furious after paul walker died i don't know it felt Rest a little in peace yeah it felt a little weird like not seeing him in the movies it's weird because he was really probably one of the probably the best one. Well, uh, he was the actors. main person that started yeah. it. So. so after that, he got a little boring, actually. I don't know for me, but yeah. I get it. I get it. It's entertaining yeah, to see. It's like know, the most the interesting, interesting part, part was for me all, all the time. Do they drive like that or they just someone else drives the stunt car? Drivers all drive like that. They're all stunt, drivers. All stunt drivers. Stunt drivers? Pretty much. Yeah. Professionals. Think, like really, so professional, really like crazy professionals. Yeah, because yeah, they do some crazy stuff, man. Like, <laughs> and you know what else I was trying to learn? I, I never did. Like, because you, know, you can't learn. And the thing, like, when you try to drift the car and just all, drift Donuts? the car all the way. Huh? You like the trays? Trays? Remember, remember like the trays? Around the track, you mean? No, no. You know, like, um, those, those, those parking lot, you drift the car and you take it upstairs. I oh. always want to do that. I oh, never did. Shit. Two times I did it, I hit a curve. That's not real. That's, I don't think you can do it, that. It is I possible. It's not. I, it's no, possible. So Everything you see in movies, you try to do it in real it's life. It's very hard. I don't think it's no, possible. No, it's yeah, it's You possible. should try to watch. No, it is possible. You know what you should watch? You should watch Jackass and try all of them. Hey, you remember the, the thing, Nissan? There was a Nissan, the Chinese guy. It was a Nissan... 350Z. Oh, I, I Joe's, Joe's see favorite. You know what's Bro, funny you know how about Joe? Of, how many he, times I watched that? He kept coming moment? to the shop with a 350Z turbo. And one day he left the shop and he got pulled over and they completely fucked his car. Who? His car became completely illegal and he was no longer allowed to drive it on the street. Oh, yours? Yeah, we didn't even we didn't even know it was souped up. until I, I had no idea. And then he told really? Me. You heard him a block away. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And now he had to, he had to buy that another regular this. car to yeah. drive it. Do you still have that car? Yeah, I still have it. Do you like drive it? Uh, I drive it like once a month. It's for sale. So right? the battery, oh, so the battery doesn't die. I unplug the battery, but I just drive it just so it like moves a little bit. But you don't go to a track or anything. No, I just drive it around like a, around my house. Should we sell it on the podcast? Yeah, anybody wants to buy a twin turbo 350Z? We'll do a giveaway. 500 wheel horsepower. Yeah, 500 uh, horsepower. Fun? Wheel horsepower. 500 horsepower. 500 wheel, baby. Oh, it, you could. Uh, we'll call it the RDB Cult giveaway. And um, yeah, you're gonna hear more. Yeah, we'll it. sell a lot of shirts and <laughs> stuff, and you could maybe have the car. <laughs> I actually asked Mo to buy it once to like do a giveaway. What did he yeah, say? Yeah, he says he loves helping people. He doesn't actually love that at, at all. Yeah. What yeah. did he say? I'm not going to buy because yeah. it's not a Ferrari? I don't remember why he said no, but I feel like he just didn't want to hook me up. I was like, Dude. He just doesn't want to help you. I think he wants to help other people, but all his friends he doesn't care about. Yeah. This whole time I was thinking of when I got into an accident, like if I ever did. And I just yeah, remember at a gas station. I don't think you've station, ever been. I've never heard you get an No, ass- like it was I had a 2006 CL 500, like a long time Whoa. ago. Yeah. That was nice. I, I was I at like a those. gas station. You know, I was pumping gas or whatever. I didn't really look in front of I, I I didn't wasn't looking. I think I was on the phone or something. I put it in drive and some guy came like right like in front of me and I got annoyed. So I just turned left and I pressed the gas and then another car came. I just went right into him. It wasn't bad, but you know. As long as everyone's okay. Accidents, yeah, it wasn't bad. I, I I was like more shocked than like Exactly. You get more shocked. You get. I yeah. hit him, and then the guy's like, "What happened?" And I was yeah. like, "Dude, I'm like, like, my bad, you know, like, I'm sorry." And then he got out, and he was a he was a cool guy, but he looked sad, and I was we were both sad. Like, I hit my it's car, wild. and I just got it painted. Too. Accidents are scary, man. Oh, the I had a matte gray. Yeah, it was matte gray. It was. Ra- uh, it wasn't wrapped. It was all painted matte. Gray. I think you had a sound system Did in it too. I had a sound car? system. It Flipping was lowered. Front of you, front of your ass. Yeah, I've had on the freeway. Bro, we were going. So it was um, maybe 2004, 2005. So five free was like around like 11 o'clock. So this, there was a guy, uh, it was a, a ex- excursion, Ford excursion. He said PM or AM? Uh, no, it was night, PM. Nighttime. So this guy, 
He was checking. So, it's, you know, you know on the 118, <laughs> he said 1. It's I nighttime, don't. p.m. It's a.m. It's night. <laughs> no, it's like nighttime. Okay, okay so. after 12 p.m. Go ahead, man. Okay, so, so you know, on the 118 freeway, it divides by like 5 and... <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. He's that was funny. At night, p.m. <laughs> no, I like it. After 12, it's yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this guy he was trying to uh, enter the 118 freeway instead of 5. So, like... Okay. Okay, so... Okay, let me just start. I'm a storyteller, bro. I'm yeah. lost. Worse. I'm okay, let me just start. He had to fart. No, no. Let me just tell you. Okay, okay. <sighs> so we were, okay, you know, like uh, on the five freeway when you go and there's like one eighteen and five. So this guy was in the five freeway. Why are you using his knees? You have your own knees. My right leg is sore. You, hey, you guys, look how dirty that look how dirty that place is because his <laughs> finger keeps squishing it. I was also gonna say his tight pants are uh, the blood has stopped going to his brain. So he's forgetting Dude, what he's, he's saying. he's turning red. And you guys don't understand why this part is yellow because he smokes 25 packs a day and cigarettes. Bro, that's a food. Who cares that's about that food. story? Car flipping somewhere. No, no, that was five really crazy. I said, that was the first time in at, my life at 1 I saw an excursion night. flips from the <laughs> And like, not one, just like continuous. That's so, that, I'll, 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 I'll get we, so yeah. sad, we, bro. We like stop. If I see we that. stop. This stupid guy was so drunk. He didn't feel anything, but the, like I think the body was broken. So we took it from the like we we took the guy from the car. We called the ambulance, this and that. So and ambulance came. The body came. wasn't working, bro. The guy couldn't move, but he would he wasn't feeling like he was uh, really yeah, drunk. Yeah, he was paralyzed, probably, bro. He had no, Fucking but the thing is, the guy wasn't screaming like he was Dude, like. Do you feel so bad seeing like so if he I was saw a, he was a car drunk flip, guy? Yeah, I yeah. hope there was no kids in there. That's no, no right. kids. So oh, this yes. guy was alone, like, and he didn't took any and anyone's life. So there what, was no man? car next to it. So hey, they they have they think everything I, I don't okay I'll well, continue I can't even talk anymore that was oh, the craziest man. thing I, to be yeah, honest I got hope, scared we too hope there's no kids there for sure but if I see that something like that in front of me like I would I, feel so sad like to be honest I really like, got scared when like the the people start feeling going like it was like in the movie it's so scary like this car bro. is flipping and we're going bro, on a one I've seen bad accidents in front of me I feel yeah, so yeah, bad yeah, like bro, I get sad like I hope they're okay you know like this fucking like Ukraine Russian shit. Like civilians are dying, kids are dying and shit. That, that, from, that's like, the problem just here, you know? Like, fucking hey, uncalled for like bombing and it's just fucked up the world can't like there has stop to be it immediately. Another way, Let me tell you, you guys know? something. Like there okay. has to be another way to resolve no. this problem. Yeah. Okay, I mean, let sending me bombs into like areas where there could be like civilians and kids is like I mean, it's just the craziest fucked up thing. Okay, let me tell cool something. Man, this, man, okay, cool I was watching the Syria, Iraq. People, kids were dying. How come the world was sleeping? But like, they, you know what I mean? Look, was, they talk so about all come, that shit. No, but like, I never seen anyone protesting outside or America. They did. They did. Every, every race has their series of problems. It's just. No, but like, you're America talking about never announced. Are you talking about like, awareness? Like, why didn't they talk about the army genocide as much as they're talking about this? Ukrainian or is, Syria I mean, or is, Iraq, bro? There's no how many kids in Iraq and yeah, Syria died. Yeah, that's no just one not, knew about that's it. The I agree no with one life. knew that. I get I it. Numbers. Yeah. That's Any, why it's fucked up. Anywhere, anything like that you. happening is fucked up and it should it's just stop. And not, not this cool, one man. is publicized more. And yeah, but like, this is not fair. It, you know what I mean? It affects. It's not fair. I know a lot of people. It should stop immediately, for sure. ASAP. I know there's a lot of people is being hate. Towards to other people, like other races, like from Iraq, from Iran, from Armenia. There's a lot of people that are being like hated, or they hate pe uh, other people because in their world, no one didn't talk about it. But now everyone's talking about the Ukrainian, Ukrainian, Ukrainian. But the other war, like people in Iraq or in Iran who died, no uh, one didn't care about the it. Like a lot of kids, like like. Right, da, 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 da. Hey, he's drunk. That's why he doesn't feel it. <laughs> No. Yeah, no, I think this is not fair. No, it's to be not right. It needs to stop yes. ASAP. Hey, Anytime you know civilians or child is yes. dying, they have to help. It's not about fair. It's but about not like just choose a country like and then stop, talk about you know? it. Yeah, like if Russia stops bombing, what's gonna happen? You like you get what I'm saying? Like start talking, negotiating, whatever. But like the forcefulness, the aggressiveness is like yeah, insane. I agree. You know, it, it's yeah, not cool. You know, we had uh, our. Like our, we're Armenian, obviously all of us, different Armenians, Lebanese, Armenian, whatever Armenian, but like, you know, Azerbaijan and Turkey attacked, you know, 
part of us recently and didn't get publicized that much. And also, I think they never civilians did were dying and it was also fucked up. So Which is it, not fair. It's just, yeah, it's just Bro, the other day I war was, shouldn't exist after <laughs> all these years. The other you know? day I was watching a video, like how people were attacking like uh, Syria and thing. Bro, that was crazy. And, uh, and then there's, there's threats because there's not that. much you can do about there's it. There's threats now of them trying to use nuke. The, the last couple of days yeah, are yeah. talking about the, yeah, they are talking which about is a, which if you think about it, it's I hope it doesn't it's happen. Not it's not gonna scary. happen. Well, I think if, it, if it gets to nukes, it's like everybody's nuking everybody and everybody's fucked. Bro, but do you guys yeah. know if there's two nukes in the world go the same time, the world will crack? Do you guys understand that? I don't, well, there's I don't know two that, nukes. Uh, I, I saw it on the thing. Uh, are you talking about the same area? No. Like in the world, doesn't no, matter. I don't that's what Tristan about. It's like Earth, right? Like, yes, Earth. If you keep throwing bombs and nukes or whatever. Gonna, at one point, when does it like really like yeah. employ? You know, but, like, uh, the other day was I was say, Geez, bro, dude. damn, bro, Jesus relax. Christ. That's the second. All time. this talk is uh, making him appreciate life, it's, and he just wants oh, to forget about it. Drink up, everything. Moses. No, it's, I, I don't drink it until the ice melts. It's good. It's fine. Bro, there is no ice. There is ice. Don't worry. Wow. So yeah. yeah, I mean that's hopefully it comes to an end soon, and yeah. you know I, I hope yeah. But we're gonna try not talking about this topic. Yeah, yeah, no, it's sure. better if we don't because like there's like a, lot a of sensitive people, topic. Yes, we're not because there's really like a lot of people, it, a lot of different nationalities, not a lot of different countries. Yeah, they're being uh, upset about it because later tonight, tomorrow, sir. Huh? Yeah, tomorrow. Because they're not, they're being upset about it because they no one talks about their country, no one talks about their war, and now everyone's. Suddenly they're talking about Ukrainian, Ukrainian, Ukrainian. I mean, we can't look other, at it that no, way. It's still, it is what it is think and it should be dealt it, with. You those know, are man. people too. It doesn't matter. Of course. Man, those are people course. too. There's like kids. Well, yeah. Still, Let's whenever, try to... Okay, let me ask you a question. That, whenever that, you go out, you see a kid. It doesn't matter what race. No, uh, man. Hungry, that's the worst thing in the food, world right? is anybody I, I, young, like... Getting if you don't have the bullied, option tortured, and you don't know killed, what's going whatever. on and you're getting hurt, I think everyone. I think everyone under this roof, if you saw... A kid outside. It doesn't matter. It's your True. family, but it doesn't if something matter. Something was dude. happening to that child. I, I'm innocent. sure all of us would probably run but and help. No, that that's they're, you know, they're making na- that's, that's people natural. who hate each other now. A lot of people now they yeah, hate but, Americans. But forget so all the that? hate and racial shit. There's kids involved. Yeah, and but the, you guys all that now different countries they hate America more now because whenever they were in the problem, no one talked about it, and now they're talking about the king. No, the, and the, they're still in the war. We have every race here. True, but people that's, are, that's, that's bro, the thing. Did you, guys, so nobody's did, you guys, gonna, did you guys pay attention on Instagram? People are posting like Arabic people from Iraq, from yeah. Syria. They're posting yeah. how come our thing wasn't yeah. getting hate. Because they're, they're angry. They're <coughs> angry. Yes, they're angry. <coughs> they're angry. Bro, I'm telling you, on Instagram, whenever I like, I go on Instagram, I have like a lot of people, like I don't want to mention names, but even like high people like actors and everything they mention this like why why are you crazy? there's a lot of anger a lot there's of a lot of people are just chasing of what's the topic now and they don't really know or care about the actual thing but let's just change the subject because this yeah. can go on forever and let's talk about something okay else, but you know? can we change the like rule of the past um, um, podcast and we can get like snacks up um, we can get like podcast, sna- snacks it. Sorry, because you know why we can't eat in the podcast? Bro, we'll you like, know why? We'll, we'll tell you why. Slowly. We're not gonna. It's, it's, it's chips or anything. It's not because every time you're gonna eat, you gotta go. No, yeah. just no. Like yeah, we'll, stop it. Already, like it's chaotic. Yeah, and somebody we're not gonna said food. we don't have structure on the but podcast. So cigar, we alcohol. have to try to keep it. Uh, Nice and not okay, add craziness. Like, let's have like yeah. sodas no, no. and everything. Drinks. I'm having drinks. You're not having drinks. Your fault. Yeah. So, you can uh, have some ice cream. Nobody don't have a drink, some man. some alcohol and some drinks I think I'm going to go buy a cigar soon. Yeah, smoke, so I can whatever. Smoke cigar because I can have Do smoke whatever that's not going to affect, you know, the noise in the podcast. But we're trying to like, it's still spontaneous. We didn't talk, talk about <laughs> topics. Let's just try once on the, on the second floor. Let's the, see. No, no. This is That's how to see people like every day, every every uh, podcast episode. We move this couch, we do all this still, and we talk about cars around cars, and yeah, it's cool, man. Just leave it alone. You know, you know what I'm looking for. How many to? hours are we in, <clears throat> Joey? <laughs> it's one hour. Is it how many? Forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. All right. You know what I'm looking okay, for. Okay, let me just to? go smoke <laughs> so you guys can talk about something. <laughs> this guy I think really I has to smoke. You can do it. It's fifteen more minutes. No, I got nervous because like I I kind of. What is your brain feeling right now? I said, like, kind of, like, those kids in the different countries. And oh, that's I got more angry up? about it, yeah. Are you going to go throw up? No. It's just an excuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> throw you're up, not, right? Not, that, this guy lost the part of the car. That is an excuse to And have once cigarettes. we found it, he went outside and he threw up. Yeah. And then yeah. he texted me. 
And oh, come on, dude. <laughs> oh, those are some expensive 650 shoes. pounds on my toe. The size of the toe, those, they're, they're, those are really nice. By the way, those are MJs, expensive. baby. You no, gotta respect MJs. Okay, so he texted me saying, Oper, that means brother in Armenian, can you bring me water? I need help. And I'm like, what happened? So I went to the restroom. I thought he was like in the restroom. And I hear him. <laughs> and I look over there, <laughs> threw up everything. And I gave him the water. He sipped the water. And he threw up more. He sipped the water. And then he came here. And then me and Vic came to the front. And we turned back. He's smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. He has a weak stomach. Or I don't know. It's very emotional. I don't know what's his problem. He doesn't know what's his problem. He just knows internally something's fucked up. Yeah, I think I mean, he's low on vitamins. I told him to go get a blood test. He'll be fine. I got like four blood tests. I was low on iron the other day, so I took iron pills. Everybody and has something they're He'll fucking low on, and yeah, whatever. you know what? I'm, I'm seriously looking forward to this week. Where's COVID, by the way? Seriously, where's what? But where's COVID? COVID? It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. There's no COVID. I'm looking forward to this week. We have there's three rap jobs that are coming in. Serious, I'm really so we we had one rap uh, one rap job. It was a Rolls Royce Cullinan. We're done. We're waiting for wheels, custom paint, satin pearl white, my favorite color. Um, so same customer is gonna give us two cars. We're waiting. We have to finish this car. He has a GT3 coming, G wagon coming. I thought it's coming tomorrow. <clears throat> Sorry, it's we coming. We need one tomorrow. It is coming tomorrow. So Actually, both cars are being towed tomorrow, which I was a little scared. I gambled. I didn't know the schedule. I didn't even ask anybody about the schedule. I'm like, you know what? Let's just do just it. Just bring it and we'll make it happen. Yeah. So it's really cool to oh, have that awesome. wrapping facility now because we have like six, seven cars that are getting wrapped. Yeah. And then we're doing one here. Um, so we're trying to knock out more and more wraps because our wraps are always in demand. And that wrap shop, man, we should have done it a long time ago. But, yeah. you know, it's really helping us. And it's really wild. You know, we, we jumped into the shop. Still needs work, but we're working out of it already. Um, and it's really cool to see it. You know, there's a lot of lighting in there. Um, ben Pack lifts are coming in the next week or two. Ooh. We had temporary lifts in there right now, but that's we're awesome. getting nice, clean lifts. Um, why don't so you do all working. the reps there? So, uh, we're doing as many reps as we can. I mean, like, why don't you just take this out and put it over there? Because they're already maximized there. So at the other shop, they're already doing more than they, than they could handle. So we're doing one here um, on the side to just get that extra car wrap done. Um, we're able to do one or two a week here because we take everything apart. And then over there, we're able to do like four cars a week, probably maybe five. Um, five pushing it. So six cars a week we can do with there and here. Well, or maybe seven. if Yeah, yeah. yeah if we push there. it, you know, uh, we don't mind getting more people even. We'll see now that yeah. we have that place, we get more rap guys. Yeah, even. we can get So maybe we could more. start pushing 10 reps a week. You know, that's that's the goal, actually. That's why I want that. Clear bras and wraps. Ten cars a week would be great. That would be like 40 cars a month for just wraps or clear bras. And, you know. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really, really dope, you know. I mean. And for a brand that I guess to do it. You know, there's a lot of little wrap shops that open up. But, like, yeah. we've been doing wraps for, like, 15 years. So. Why don't you just get um, one huge shop? One huge shop. One huge shop was in the works before this shop. The problem with a huge shop, there's nothing huge around L.A., Hollywood, Beverly Hills, whatever. The only huge warehouses you're going to find is on the outskirts, industrial areas. Downtown, I when I looked at one that was 35,000 square feet, like wow. literally That's endless That's space, endless, like do anything. And it was cheaper than here. Yeah. Significantly cheaper, which is wild. We could have done that. You know, but we start like we really enjoy our environment as well. You know, we're in the heart of Hollywood. The Hollywood sign is behind this. Um, it's just really cool to have a shop yeah. based in Hollywood. We're actually and in Hollywood now. Our other address was Los Angeles. Yeah, this the rap says, shop is Los is, Angeles again. This but, rap shop in Los Angeles here. It actually, it's Hollywood, California. So that's the thing. Yeah, we could have just gone to the outskirts. Yeah, got a cheaper place. Giant, all the space in the world. Um, it just didn't, you know, apply to us. I think maybe one day we'll get that too. You We're know, so just to have the Sunset it, Boulevard. You know, like you know, our shop is on yeah. Sunset. Like and the wrap shop is like a mile away. Yeah. It takes like five minutes yeah, or less. Yeah. We to have get found there, a so. sneaky way of getting there. Well, the old shop. place was much better. Like I can't smoke anywhere I want. It was like open space. What I and there was a lot of beautiful girls was passing next. I have a question. Oh Why do you keep rubbing? Moses, like the whole because he's drunk. I'm what? giving him a massage. My, I have to say this because this is really important. I feel, uh, but I want, I want this company 
to be focused on high end repairs as well. So it's like yeah. it's it's been my dream to to have like you know we service all cars. You know we service from Toyotas used. to Hondas, anything doesn't matter. But I really want to have like a solid every day service day to where we have we yeah. have all these exotics Lots coming in exotics, in yeah. line. We you know we have we have two Lamborghinis today, one space. Ferrari today. Well, that's the whole idea. I hope we can somehow make that happen. It'll be like amazing. you're talking about Lambos and Ferraris. It'd be awesome. Like every or day, like a Mercedes. Like every day we have four. We have let's say we have four services, five services lined up. We know the customers coming in. Cars come, drop off, they go. The inspections, whatever is necessary, we do it, and we we we, we are doing it. But it's just that it's hard to. It sh- hopefully, it's easier now that we have this new spot. We can take more a lot mechanic of the cars job. there. Well, and it's it's awesome to service exotic cars because. Myself, I didn't know anything about it. I have I have learned a lot too in servicing that's exotics. A, that's a whole craziness well, that's, too because that's, dealers you learn every day. Every wow. new car comes, you learn. Moses hates this because dealers charge like seventeen hundred to two grand to just do an oil change on like a luxury car. Yeah, but we all know it costs much, much, yeah, much, much less o- than it's that. It's the same oil, and it's people same. with those cars are very sensitive. They get scared. They want to take it to the dealer, and they pay yeah. those prices. They don't care, and that's what you know. We would love to eliminate, you know. It'd be awesome. Well, they don't have. understand that we get the same. We get the filters and the oil from the dealer. We order it from them. Yeah, yeah, so it's the same shit. So it's the and same it's much thing. Cheaper. And you say like almost fifty percent. You can. And people don't save. understand that like that doesn't mess with your warranty. No. As long as you have it documented, mm-hmm. paperwork, they can't do anything about yeah. it. It's not and illegal. It's we, not you know. We write all the information feel- on the car. We give an invoice with the mileage yeah. and everything. So it's kind of like the same thing. It's just you're paying much less. Yeah. I and you get to see these cool cars. A lot of it, a lot of it has to do with, I guess, I guess myself too, not approaching. Like we have, we have a lot of these exotics that are here. So I, I, it doesn't matter if it's Vic's customer, Mono's customer, Sarkis's customer. It doesn't matter. I take a, a, some blame of when the car's here. Like let's just say it's here for body work. I don't have no problem going up to the customer, uh, calling the customer and saying, "Listen, we do this, we do this, we do this too." It's so, also sales, timing. If we're so busy. We, when we get here in the morning, it's a yeah, complete disaster. Like if you're taking your car to the dealer. Make sure next time we do a wrap, I can service your car too. A lot of our clients don't know that. They still don't. Well, know maybe that. you should sell like a package. We should they, have like a yeah. flyer anytime we Believe do not, anything a, on a, a car. A lot of these guys don't know they that. They have it you know in the car. what we can do, right? They when don't you know put that. It, when we put their invoice, we can put a little flyer in there saying we Remind do me that. Next we week, we should do that. Time. Hey, yeah. imagine, imagine how convenient it is for a customer to bring in a car for a wrap, yeah. service, service, and body work all, all, all at the same, same time under one roof instead of calling the dealer and saying, you know, I need need a knowledge. You know what the crazy part is? That we do all that. But not everybody knows about it. Exactly. They don't know so about it. A lot of people, like, I think 70% of our clients have high-end cars, don't know about it. I think only yeah, 30% yeah, of them know. You're right. And it's only, right. the 30% is our friends. They're friends who know about, we do this. And then if the, another person yeah. knows about it, it's a friend telling the friend. Exactly. Yeah. Not, like, yeah uh, we should definitely strengthen that ability. And yeah. uh, remind me, because uh, we'll have a flyer be awesome. made. Yeah. And think, every car that leaves here, you give them the flyer. Or you put it in the car, and then just it explains that yeah. you know you could come to us for all that. Just shit, imagine you know? doing service for all high end cars, and them not going to the dealer. It'd be amazing. And nobody likes going to the dealer. Face yeah. the facts, yeah. they like to be yeah. personal. Um, have somebody that, even though they take it to the dealer for trust, they don't trust the dealership guys. Yeah, so it's like weird. It doesn't don't make they sense. Ask you, us? Know? you know how many invoices I've gotten from, like they take their car to Lambo and they send me an invoice and they ask me, hey, are they ripping me off? So we go through it. Me and you went through it the other day. We were like, okay, this is yeah. too much. That's too much. And we got the car in. We so. have a we have a Ferrari right now currently. A uh, customer went to the dealer. And I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to say where the car, whoever gave him a price, whatever dealership is that. But he got a quote for around about 25. Oh, oh sorry. 45 to $50,000. You guys, this is serious. I'm, I'm, I'm 45 to 50 grand. It was a Ventador, right? It was oh, there, no no the it Ferrari was, F- it was, it was a Ferrari yeah, F- Ferrari, yeah, yeah you're yeah. right Ferrari four thirty so we found the way to repair the vehicle uh, I'm not kidding for under sixteen thousand dollars and the dealership quoted him forty five to fifty grand which so is stupid we had our stupid. customer he has a Cullinan lowered on wheels uh, remember that he said there's a crazy noise coming yeah from the oh, front yeah 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 this was a, yeah you tell and, the story and uh, we put the stock wheels on and the you know lowering we put it back to stock he took the car to the dealer the dealer made a huge fuss about it like 
oh my god like your suspension um (laughs) is all messed up you have to change your shocks you have to change the arms they gave him like a like a twenty thousand dollar estimate that was crazy i said it doesn't make sense the car only has like ten thousand miles like it doesn't make sense bring the car he brings the car and lo and behold there's like a loose little thing inside the fender (laughs) and that was the thing making the noise that's bad. literally we tightened it and that was it that was it and that's, that's a true just a true story it is so it's it, and it's you wild. told me that you told me you told me what you did there's and a the lot prom- more that we for, for we forget every oh, it's single cra- day it's, it happens it's, all day it's great and customers don't know any better they don't know any better yeah but because they drive high in cars like, the they dealers have, money. have more over it they have to make more money think about that yeah you yeah, know the dealers they, they make is, money selling parts and fixing cars in the shop than selling cars you're right yeah Maybe not right more, now, but in general, yeah. No. Right now, cars are super hot. I f- yeah. I just feel like we have to approach Bro, the every day, single thing. The other day, I called for a Porsche, um, a Porsche GT3. I found one in different uh, state. The guy was asking two hundred thousand over sticker. I told him, "Bro, are you selling me like, like <laughs> double car? Or is it like? Why are you even me? trying to look for a car?" No, this is a, like for myself. I'm gonna change my uh, at work time. Huh? At work? No, time? it was lunch time. Oh, lunch time. Yeah. Hey, by oh. the way, don't let your Lamborghini yours die because the battery is fifty five hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's so easy. Jeez, man. That that's is so one that expensive battery. That asshole of a battery. If it dies yes. on you, and even if you jump it, charge it, you're gonna have an error on the dash. This is true. Um, because the battery tells the car it's toast, and if you try to put another just regular Doesn't universal work. battery. Does not work because the Euros battery Euros or has a plug. Lambos? A lot of the new cars now, we have tried. it has a plug, and if work. you don't put that plug, you get a <laughs> electrical code. It's literally like a scam, bro. It's it, a battery. It, it is fifty five hundred dollars. And believe it or not, the car works the same way. You can drive it. We've put different battery. You can drive the car, test it's it, normal. whatever. Yeah, of course. It moves. It's power. It's it twelve moves. volts. It's you can't even reset nothing. It's yeah, just it's just a. And then the funnier part about it is they use the same That's battery crazy. on like a like a Porsche or a Audi. And the battery's fifteen hundred dollars with a different part number, which is funny. It's you terrib- could actually get that battery and put it on it's, and save four thousand. It's terrible. It's bad. It, it's it's yeah, a, it is. That's a and crazy leak right there. This is like real stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, this is real stuff, you guys. Seriously, it's it. it and I, then you have to reprogram the car to that battery. That's the other funny ass part. Is it the one you have to reprogram your car for huh? the new battery. Yes. And um, it's a simple reprogramming step, but the dealer wants like thousand dollars to do that too. Yeah. So, just craziness, man. So craziness. bring the so basically what it comes yeah. down to bring it to us. I don't so, know how this turned into like an ad for us, but uh, yeah, it's the truth. You know These what? are true stories. So. It's, yeah, it would be nice to service all exotics here, uh, along with all the other stuff we do. Rap, body no, this work. isn't an ad. This is a car cool. podcast. It We're is, talking yeah. about what we do, what we can do. Bring true. the cars yeah. to us. We'll take care of you. Yeah. There's four people so here to take care of you. Yeah. Listen, we called. I've I followed up so much. Sarkis knows too. Sarkis knows too. He does the same thing all day. We call dealerships for updates. Uh, you know, where's this? Where's that? We're waiting for it. This, that, parts here and Bless there. You. They take they take so long to respond. Like, you know, we'll call you back and let you know when the parts on the way. We'll call you back and give you an update. They never do. They never do. They never call us back. We have to call back a million times to find out what's happening. So that's what I'm saying. Like service wise, if you guys ever have a really you guys bring the cars here, you guys are gonna have a really good experience. I can guarantee you. We're not gonna call you after we can tell you, you know, the update. You're gonna get an update very quickly. And and we like to do stuff very fast and, and take care of customer satisfaction. That's our main goal. So yeah, I, yes. I really wanna see every single exotic car here. We're From now on. We're gonna we'll make the flyers and we'll you know, we'll give it yeah. to all the clients. This is a very serious episode. I love it. This episode but, I mean, was amazing. People want a structure. We tried to not make him a mo- uh, sarcastic. Yeah, much, so. yeah. He was, uh, he's actually been a little better. As we're doing the podcast, I'm getting renders of a Lamborghini crazy project we're going to do. Yes. We did. Um, we had a guy we know make like 20 renders, different colors, different wheels for the customer. Shit. And um, it's getting really sick. Um, yeah. Hey, I'll send crazy. these and maybe we could throw it on there. Yeah. But look at that thing. This oh. is that you you know the guy we were talking to, for it's like three months in the work, um, we're finalizing Ooh. the renders for him. So, crazy stuff coming. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a Ventador, with the crazy Liberty Walk body kit, the crazy when you change every panel, um, and it's gonna be wild. We're gonna paint it like a Ferrari color actually. 
red color, so it's going to be wild. We've yeah. said this many times, game over, but guess what? Game over once again. We forgot about the 720S kit that's coming as well. That's going to be a crazy build. <laughs> yeah, the McLaren the thing one? we're doing, yeah, it's crazy. We have a McLaren build coming, crazy one. Just leave that alone. We'll leave it as a surprise. I actually have a Senna coming too that we're going to modify. We have another SF90 coming in. Um, we have another F8 coming in. The new Maybach. We're putting um, custom wheels on it. That's coming in. Yep, with, yep. We have two uh, new RDB wheels designs in the work right now. Yep. Crazy designs. I'll show you guys soon. You know what's but a little yeah. weird? We haven't, we haven't had like, <clears throat> I don't know, the, like the Starlight. You know how we do Starlights and stuff? It's awesome. We haven't well, had we, one I of those. We, we, the game we haven't done. had um, one of those in a, in a while, yeah. which is weird. Starlights are getting a little bit uh, old now. Mm. You're talking about Starlights in the ceiling? Yeah. yeah. It's right. getting a little we, old we because so like... Many. They're good on Rolls Royce. They come with it. A lot of people are doing it on other cars, but like, it just looks kind of weird on other cars. You know, I don't know. On S class, but you it really want cool. it? We do I think it, on the S class, the new new S class, that, that, that's a must. But other than that, no, it's not as hot as. It I agree with you. Be. New S classes, yeah. The new S classes, if you guys, you know, S -class, for the you new seven have, series, so, yeah, that's gonna be a crazy car. So which one? Yeah. New seven series. That's gonna be. You gotta crazy. start like that one too. Are you guys good? Are we good? Yeah. Okay, right. let's go well, home. Yeah, and thank you for watching nine? episode 10. ten. This is episode 10. All right. Um, and Joe's working very hard. He wants more money now. So nah, I got to um, pay it on the podcast, man. Yeah, we're not we're not going to pay him more money because this is No, nah, he texted me. Else, what yeah. time is it? Late at night. Yeah, so. My new payment is this, okay? Well, Joe it makes... Yeah, what an asshole. <laughs> but, um, Joe makes but yeah. a lot of money. You want me to show it? Yeah, so all right, all right. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, episode 10... Like I said, we drop it every Wednesday morning, the RDB podcast. The RDB YouTube is every Monday morning, Friday morning. Um, yeah, check out our social media. Subscribe to our stuff, please. Obviously, we're trying to get up there. I think the RDB official Instagram is almost a million. So we're almost oh, there on that. Eight, oh, shit. Eight, eight, eight. Almost, right yeah. It's Kidding. almost at 900K. So all generic, hey, organic. Man. But uh, yeah. And um, keep watching, man. So we got a lot more yeah. coming.